It's 3 a.m. and I'm stranded in the Philadelphia airport because my flight got canceled, but I don't let it bother me. I'm going to drop some banger Vim tips. So everyone knows about the G command. That's kind of like the most basic advanced usage command, but I have some things to add to it. So it lets you do a command for each occurrence. One thing people probably don't know is you can use things other than slashes to separate. So let's say we want to do something on each line with a quote. So we can do G comma quote and that'll select each line of the quote and it could be anything like you could do g bar and as long as it matches it works just fine and then what do we want to do let's say we want to make all of these actually centered so let's do uh norm and then a v inside uh quotes and then that'll select that we can hit a center and then we're going to have to manually return so we can do control v for verbatim return and then that'll center Looks like that only did one line, though. Oh, that only did one line because I accidentally selected a comma instead of quote. But if we edit our command line history with Q colon, I can now change this up a little bit and let's say instead of a comma, it's a quote like that. And then let's um, enter right there. I believe hitting enter will rerun that. And yeah, you can see it centered everything. That's a window a lot of people open up by accident, but it's good to know how you can actually open it. So let's undo that. You can rerun the last used command with at colon. That'll redo it. It's kind of nice to know. Another thing a lot of people don't know about the G command is it has a counterpart V, which is the inverse. So let's say we want to make everything that doesn't have a bracket on it uppercase. So what we can do is V and then let's use a, a comma this time to separate. Usually slashes are best, but whatever you want, and then we'll do a bracket. Actually, we're probably going to have to escape that because it's special, and then we'll do a another comma to close. And then what do we want to do with this? We want to run a norm command and G uppercase uppercase, and you can see that uppercased every line that wasn't, uh, that didn't have a bracket on it. All right, so say we uh, list something out with a command line thing like that, and then we accidentally close it, right? And we want to see it again. You can actually do G and then left shark, and then that'll show it again. Looks like whenever I do that, uh, my show keys go away though. So I could also do bang LS. And then if I do G left, left eater guy, uh, it shows back up. So that's a useful one. Next up is uh, opening files. So say we want to open some file from within FIM. There's a bunch of different ways to do that actually. You can type GX on links and also on uh, file paths. Most people probably knew that though. So if we go in here and then we type GX, you can see it'll actually open up that link, which is nice. But it works on files too. So if we're typing, let's see if we have like a PNG. Yeah, thumbnail. So if we type THU and then we can do control XF and that'll complete the file name. And then we want to open that, we can do GX and it'll do the same thing. It'll just call the system handler for, for open. You can also from here type open and then the thumbnail thing. Open is just a built-in and it'll open pretty much everything up. Here's an interesting one. So let's say you are searching for something. You hit a nice slash and then space equals space or searching for that occurrence. And you want to keep going to new search occurrences, but you don't actually want to enter it yet. You can do control G and that goes through, but you're not leaving search mode. And then you can go control T to go back. I like to think of this as go, 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 go with control G and then too far, too far, too far. And you go back with control G. Not exactly sure why that would be so useful. I've used it once or twice, uh, mostly by accident, to be honest, but they don't just randomly add features to Vim for the hell of it, so there's got to be some good use case. Pretty much everyone, it's kind of a basic movement. It knows about control D and U for down and up. And these go a half page down and up, but there's actually the equivalent full page down and up, which is control F for full, I guess, and then control D for back. And that'll take you all the way up and down a page. Uh, Another cool one, this is just for a tree sitter, NeoVim people, is the inspect command. And that'll actually show you where in the document you are in terms of the tree sitter. So you can see we're in punctuation dog bracket. So that's kind of cool, right? But what if you want a more interactive? You can do inspect and then tree. And then this shows you all the different parts and you can actually go through it. That's about all I got for you this time. You wouldn't believe how loud an airport can be even at 3 a.m. Uh, but yeah, I'll just be out here thugging it out, listening to some infected mushroom, getting some work done, hopefully getting back on my flight tomorrow. Uh, they rescheduled it, but 
Yeah, wasn't about to pay $300 for an Uber round trip to a hotel 17 miles away. Hell no. So yeah, I'll catch you next time.